Every time I see you in the world, you always step to my girl. Today we are doing a thrift haul, which is super exciting. Thrifting is my favorite thing of all time. Here in Las Vegas, we have a thrift chain called Savers. Every Monday, they have 50% off of everything, which is super cool. And Monday happens to be my day off. Ooh, she's busy today. So there's a huge line and it's like 100 degrees outside. So I'm just gonna wait in my car. And hopefully in like 20 minutes, it won't be so long. There's probably 20 people in line. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just got done thrifting. I think I was in there for two hours. I swear I lose track of time thrifting because it's just so much fun. I'm gonna have to do a voiceover of all of the clips. I mean, I am a little uncomfortable like filming and stuff, but I was prepared to tackle that. I didn't really want people, other people to feel uncomfortable in my video and by me filming. So I didn't talk. I just tried to slyly record some stuff. I think Levi's or high quality jeans are one of the most coveted things in thrift stores. I can tell pretty quick if jeans are high quality or not just by looking at the waistband. If they look like they stretch, they're probably either really low quality or worn out. I went later on in the day, so I feel like a lot of this was already picked over, but definitely look for thick denim. Regular pants are kind of a different story. In this section, I usually look for cool sweatpants like these or dress pants, trousers. Look at the waistband. If that fits around your waist, you can tell by holding it up, then the pant can usually work. The bottom of pants can be altered pretty easily. Now, I never used to look in the activewear section just because I don't really ever work out. If I do, I don't wear actual workout clothes, but I've found some of the coolest pieces in this section. Some really cool like vintage Nike and Adidas windbreakers and just workout shirts in general. So I highly recommend checking through this section. I've found that a lot of times this stuff has new tags on it, like this shirt. I feel like a lot of people skip over this section, so it's definitely a gold mine in thrift stores. And I also check the men's section too. Now this is kind of a controversial thing, <laughs> intimate apparel in thrift stores only get stuff that you can wash most of this stuff you can like robes silk nightgowns uh, shapewear i found all of the above in this section i actually sleep in little silk or satin nightgowns and i found some cool smoking robes some biker shorts just shapewear in general so this is a section that i always check like this shirt was in the intimate apparel section, I think because it looks like shapewear. It does have a stain, so I'm gonna crop it, but you can also find these slip skirts, which I like to wear under t-shirts if I want a more elevated vibe. I just wanna take this time to say real quick, the main thing with thrifting clothing is to focus on quality. You do run across a lot of pieces that are worn out, but there are so many options. I promise you'll find stuff worth buying that doesn't need repair. I love checking the two-piece set section in thrift stores. It's usually right in with the dresses. I love a matchy-matchy vibe, and you can crop either the top or the bottom to make a really cool, more youthful set. An oversized blazer can definitely amp up any look, and I'm always impressed with how many options thrift stores have, so definitely check that section out. Same with men's dress shirts. I did end up getting a blue one, so I will show you how I style it. Shoes I only recommend buying if you can wipe them off. So like sandals, tennis shoes. I don't usually recommend buying just because they're harder to clean and it's sometimes it's just not worth the effort to make something look new when you can just buy new. This is so gonna be me one day just trying on shoes in my walker. <laughs> So I think it is very important to hold items up in front of a mirror. For some reason, it just gives you a different perspective. Usually I see stains or imperfections in clothing when I hold it up in front of the mirror that I didn't see just holding it up in general. You can also get a better idea of what things look like on bod. I usually end up weeding out like half the things I picked out just by doing that. 
and I will try on jackets or vests in the store if I can. Usually thrift stores don't let you return stuff, so if it's easy to try it on, I usually will. Actually, this lady who I'm talking to, you can't hear, but she recommended wearing a skirt so that I can try on pants. She's definitely a fellow hardcore thrift shopper, and I love it. I did end up getting this jacket. It's actually a two-piece set. You'll see later on in this video. The shoulder pads were a little intense for me, so I took those out. I love a good shoulder moment, but my shoulders are already so broad. It's a different day. By the time I got home from the thrift store, it was getting dark and the lighting in my house sucks. Lots of windows, but it doesn't really help at night. And I'm still filming on my phone, so the quality is crap if it's even slightly dark. So I just decided to film today. I have all of my clothes behind me and I thought it would actually be more fun for me and more useful for you guys if I actually styled the pieces that I bought from the thrift store. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I like to think of this coffee mug as a coffee. Okay, it is a coffee mug. I like to think of this coffee mug as a family heirloom. My mom has had this cup for so long. I would probably say 20 years. I don't even know where she got it, but it is a Starbucks mug. And growing up, I just loved this mug. And when I moved out, she asked if I wanted it. And I was like, duh. This is an oversized men's dress shirt. I love to shop in the men's department. I just love that oversized look, the effortless look. Just a little tip, if you want to wear shirts like this as a dress, be careful on the sides. Like always look at the hem because a lot of times dress shirts will go up on the side and so you'll have to wear something underneath, uh, like shorts, skirt, whatever. I wear shorts underneath anyways, but sometimes I don't want it to be part of the look. Sometimes I want it to look like I'm wearing a dress, but yeah, let's style this outfit. Okay, so yeah, if you've seen my Instagram, you probably knew this is where I was going with this. This is honestly one of my favorite looks right now. I like to think of it as like an old man look, which is totally a vibe. Anything that you can use or wear not in the traditional way, I like. But yeah, I just put this sweater vest over it. Oversized, this is from H&M. Paired it with my Doc Martens. And then I have cheap sunglasses from online because I will get tired of these eventually and regret spending a bunch of money on them. So these are just little cheapies. I just really like the gold accent. And then this little purse is also thrifted. It's a Calvin Klein little glossy bag. So we might as well go with the theme of sweater vests and style this bad boy. Okay, so I decided to go very casual with this one just because it's already pretty casual. It's a navy blue with gray and I paired it with this little fanny pack from North Face. And then I have black high socks with just black Fila tennis shoes and then these sporty little glasses. Yeah. Just like a fun summer outfit. You can also wear the fanny pack like this if you want, just uh, a little different. I actually prefer to wear it more on the back than like the chest pack. It's just honestly more convenient. Uh, but I do also wear it just like this sometimes as like a purse. Um, but yeah, just like a fun little casual outfit. Okay, next I'm going to style these little shorts. These are so cheap and so comfortable and just very useful. You can just throw them on honestly with almost anything and they look cool. 
I do prefer this longer style short because I like to wear things a little more high-waisted plus high-waisted short shorts are the devil and I stand by that so yeah there's these little comfy things and actually I found this at the thrift store too which is almost the same color so I might try them together I feel like it'd be a cute little outfit so yeah let's style it I'm not gonna say that every time this is the outfit I came up with the top and bottoms did end up matching so I just went for it I paired it with checkered vans and then this crossbody and my water bottle matches this yes these are things i think about at least my mind's not bored okay so i might actually crop these shorts a little bit shorter i think they're a little too long on me uh, maybe just like this i don't know i haven't decided yet Okay, next I'm gonna style these, which seems very boring, but I cannot stress enough how these are a staple in any wardrobe, just like a jogger, but elevated. This is what I turn to on days where I just don't feel like putting in any effort. I'll grab a pant like this, and then I'll just pair it with a cute top and try and turn it into like a casual look. You can dress these up, dress them down. But yeah, let's give it a go. So I decided to pair these pants with these little strappy black sandals. They're actually really comfortable. Um, and I don't think that they're too high or too dressy uh, for this outfit. And then I went with this little silk camisole. It's actually a nightgown. So in my video when I was talking about uh, intimate apparel and thrifting nightgowns and stuff. Uh, this is what I was talking about. Um, yeah, they're just so cute and I love them. But this one I actually like to turn into a shirt sometimes. So I just gather it all in the back and then I pull the front tight and then I just tie this all into a little knot, just like that. And then since we're already going with the pajama vibe, I thought I'd bring out this little furry purse. And then I have these same sunglasses. Uh, real quick with these pants, so I don't know how I'm gonna show this on camera, but um, so the bottoms are actually like loose. So a trick I do is I pull them tight, I fold it over and then I fold them three times and it just kind of stays like that. So it's more of a jogger style. I feel like it makes the pants look a little more youthful. Um, and then there are a couple tricks with the waistband. So um, I just folded these ones over just because, I don't know. I like them like this too, but I just felt like they fit a little better rolled over. But if you don't like the waistband, you can actually tuck them in this way too. These pants aren't really the best example. It's just an idea. It also dresses up the pants a little bit more. Um, yeah. So the next piece I want to style is this little sweater. I feel like it's actually gonna be a little challenging. I don't really have a lot like this in my closet, but it's just a little knit sweater with red stitching. I might crop it. I cropped it. So I kept this one pretty simple. I wanted to pair this with blue jeans because this definitely gives me like muscle tee vibes, like American biker, I don't know. But uh, because it's red and white, I don't know. I normally don't like the red, white, and blue thing, but I was just feeling it with this outfit. I cut it. A half an inch or an inch longer than I want it to lay just because most of the time it rolls and so it makes it shorter sorry this is wrinkled because uh, of life and then I paired it with this 
vintage Nike belt, which is my favorite belt. I got it at Alon's Vintage Boutique. And then, yeah, just Levi's. And then I paired it with just white Air Force Ones. And then this is a cute little Like Dreams bag that I got at TJ Maxx. Yeah, it's just like a wallet with a big chain. are tight okay the next thing I want to style is this super vintagey sweatshirt probably will crop this one too but I kind of want to pair it with these dress pants I got so let's see how that works Okay, so I didn't end up cropping this because I feel like I'll want to wear it full length one day. But a little tip, if it's actually like this outfit's kind of cute like this too. But if you want to crop something but don't want to commit to cutting it, you can actually tuck the bottom of the shirt or sweater underneath your bra and turns it into a cropped situation. I also like this trick because sometimes when you tuck bulky sweaters in, it turns the outfit very unflattering. And so this way you don't have any bulk right here, it's all in the top, which makes your waist look slimmer. Who doesn't want that? But yeah, um, it's just this old man sweater these pinstripe dress pants. They actually do have belt loops, but I wasn't really feeling a belt with this look. And then I paired it with tennis shoes because the bottoms are wide. And so I just thought it would be cuter with tennis shoes. Okay, so next I want to style these. They're pinstripe pants, which I've been on the hunt for for a very long time. I already have an idea in mind of what I want to do with these. Okay, so I've had this idea of pairing a graphic band tee or just like an older tee with pinstripe pants, and I'm happy with how this turned out. This is a vintage buffalo chip t-shirt. Actually, I found it at a garage sale in South Dakota and I love it. It definitely has that really old worn out t-shirt vibe where it's like almost see-through, but I just tied it, paired it with these pinstripe pants, of course gold jewelry. I have my uh, low top Doc Martens with them just because the pants are uh, wide leg. And then I paired it with these glasses. I just have like a rocker. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving myself a lot of credit, like a rocker, biker vibe. And then I just love how effortless this bag is. You honestly just stick everything in here. It magnets, magnetizes shut. So I, Went back and forth with the idea of wearing a little chain belt with this. I do like this look, but if I were to do this, I wouldn't have the blue metallic bag and I would probably not wear a bunch of gold chains with it. Just feel like this is a lot of gold already. And then I'd probably just go with this little micro bag, cow print. Okay, next I wanna style this bomb vest that I found. And I think I'm going to pair it with this little undershirt that I found too. Okay, these are the type of outfits that I just love. It honestly feels like I'm wearing nothing, 
but I feel like I'm so covered up. Okay, so this is the shirt that I bought thrifting. I did crop it because it had that stain on it, um, but it's super comfy. It's really tight, but it's not like suffocating. And I just love the detailing on like the collar. Most of the stuff I got still had like tags on it. Like it was brand new. And then I just paired it with these nude biker shorts. I actually don't know if these are biker shorts or like slip shorts. I'm not really sure. The nudes don't match, but I honestly don't mind that at all. I love mixing different neutral tones. And then if you just wear a vest over it, you're covering it anyways. Then I have high socks with another pair of Adidas tennis shoes. And then, yeah, just basic sunglasses, basic bag. I love the detailing on this collar. It's like a Sherpa collar, nylon body. And then these pockets I thought were super cute. Okay, I'm honestly like getting kind of tired. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go through these last ones pretty quick. I have this two piece set. This is probably the main thing I wanna show. So I have decided that I am going to crop the pants so they're short because for one, I live in the desert and And for two, where am I really ever going to wear a pantsuit? <coughs> uh, just a few tips when cropping pants into shorts. I always fold the shorts in half and then I cut from outside to inside. I always leave the inside a little bit longer just because I feel like it's a little more flattering. Uh, and then you just have to be careful of pockets. If you have any pockets in the shorts, turn them inside out because it's easy to just cut right through the pocket and then the pockets are pointless. Uh, but for this set, I wanted the shorts to pretty much be the same length as the jacket, so that's how I determined the length. And then, yeah, I just paired it with these chunky little sandals. I swear I had these exact sandals when I was little and these are the most comfortable things ever. I got these ones on like DSW or something, but they're Steve Madden. And then I'm just pairing it with this bag that uh, is also a thrift store find. Just a fun little classy bag. Yeah, I really like it. it has a magnetic closure. It honestly comes open a lot, but I kind of like the way it looks when it's just open. I do want to see how this turns out. This is just a red turtleneck. I really want to crop it super short so it's basically just the neck and the sleeves. Uh, I feel like it would be okay because it already kind of has a raw hem on it. So I think by cutting it, it won't mess it up, but we will definitely find out. Okay, so it actually turned out kind of cute. I'm digging it. The only thing is I don't know if you are supposed to cut the back. I did, and I don't know if I like it. I think it would be cuter if it was actually just like straight across in the back and then went up in the front, but I don't know. I think it's a cool look. Um, and then I just paired it with black skinny jeans, this belt that was thrifted, just a plain white tank, and then my Air Force Ones. And then just a Ralph Lauren thrifted little bag. And then these tortoiseshell sunnies. So I am happy with how this turned out. I'm glad that I didn't completely mess it up. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling this look actually. Okay, so this is the last piece that I'm really going to style and I feel like this is gonna be the most difficult one. So I went full early 2000s. Uh, this shirt just gave me those vibes, the green and the brown and the weird material. Early 2000s was a weird time. 
And so I paired it with these little sunglasses and then some denim shorts, this belt, and no shoes. Okay, I have one more outfit. It's honestly just super casual. So it's just this old tee. I'm gonna crop it, duh. And then I found just these really cute little black shorts by Reebok. They're super, super soft. So I'm just gonna crop that and try it on for you. Give you a nice little casual vibe to end the video with. Okay, this is my last outfit. I cropped the shirt. I cropped it pretty short, but I'm wearing this little sports bra under it and I like that it sticks out. And then I didn't do anything with the shorts. They were already a good length and they're just super comfortable. And then I paired it with these gray Adidas from the men's section. So they're actually a size too big, but I love them. So I did get a couple of other things at the thrift store, like books, I got a bowl, purse, hat, but I think I'm gonna save that for a different video. I just feel like this one's already gonna be too long, so I'll keep this one about clothing and then I'll do another video on like houseware stuff because I feel like that's almost more information than what you'd need to know for thrifting clothing. Okay.